Good morning, kindergarten, and welcome back to another art lesson and another week of remote learning. Okay, now that you know a little bit more about A, B, A, B patterns, what I thought we could do is a little project using a snake, and we are going to color in this snake using an A, B, A, B pattern. So you're going to need your worksheet, and if you don't have this worksheet and you have a printer at home, you can just use your printer at home, click show original on Seesaw, and it'll give you the nice big printout, and you can print it at home. Or if you don't have a printer, you can just use the drawing tools on Seesaw and color directly on the template and then submit it, okay? So you are going to need two colors of crayon. So pick out your two favorite colors. So I am going to pick out these two colors. And then I'm going to put my crayons away. Okay, so you only need two colors. And I'm going to start on the tail of my snake. And the tail is right over here. It's almost like a little rattlesnake tail. And I'm going to choose my first color. And I'm going to start coloring in the tail to the snake. Now, since we've been talking about patterns, we are going to color in our snake with a pattern. Now, once I'm done coloring the tail, there's these little teeny tiny details next to the tail. So if I zoom in really close, you can see it a little bit better. And I'm just going to color in that little teeny tiny part with my other purple color. And I'm just going to continue this pattern all the way around my snake. Now, this is going to take some time. And that's okay. We've got plenty of time. Do not rush through. You want to color it in nice and neat. Stay inside the lines and color the whole shape in. And you're just going to continue all the way around the snake's body. So I have to keep switching my colors to show that I understand what an ABAB -A -B pattern is. There we go. Okay, now I'm not gonna do the whole thing because that would take me a really long time and you would just be sitting here watching me color in the snake. So you are going to continue your pattern all the way around the snake's body until you get to the head. Once you get to the head, color in the tongue. And then if you have scissors available to you, you are going to very carefully follow that circle, staying on the black line. Cut the snake body out, put your scissors away, throw away your scraps, put your crayons away. We want to keep our table really clean and organized because it's easier to work like that. And then I'm going to get out a glue stick and a piece of construction paper. Any color construction paper will do. So whatever color you have, you can use. If you don't have construction paper, well, just cut out the snake and then you can just leave it like that, just a circle. And then I'm gonna stick it down. There we go. And if the edges are still kind of poking up just a little bit, you can either add a little bit more glue or you can take a really heavy book and you can just put it right on top of your project and that will weigh your snake down and it'll be nice and flat. Once you're done with this, take a picture and then upload it into Seesaw. All right, I will see you guys next week. Have fun making those patterns.